you ask me, I, I believe that it's important. It's important to make pledges because serious people, when they make pledges, it means something. For people that are not responsible enough and that are not serious enough, pledges and promises, it means nothing. But at the same time, I do understand the anger and rage, dare to say, of many activists throughout the world. Of, but put aside activists and anger of an ordinary people. Ordinary people see that we are not fast enough, that we are not... That's something that we need to change. But at the same time, that's why we raised today a lot of questions here. And uh, we still haven't gotten real and proper answers on these questions. And these are the following. How are we going to treat natural gas? How are we going to treat and what are we going to do with nuclear energy, with nuclear power plants? Are we going to shut them all or to build them more? Because there are different approaches from, let's say, Germany and France. I'm speaking only about European Union, not to mention America, China, Russia, Australia, and all the others. Then, how are we going to finance all these activities? Some people were mentioning trillion of dollars at our disposal, but what's the cost of those trillion of dollars? What would be an interest rate? What are the funds that we can take these amazing amounts of money for us? And that's there are tens of questions uh, which are raised, and ordinary people and activists they need to understand also that we need to balance it in a way to in order to secure energy needs of our countries because you have to have electricity. You would, you would blame uh, your leadership, and in my country everybody would blame myself, if they wouldn't have enough electricity. And we are, asked to phasing, we are asked to phasing out coal. We cannot do it before we build new renewable capacities, and for that we need more money. And that's that's sort of vicious circle that we need to overcome, and uh, that's why these gatherings was important. That's why I believe that we can do something in the future in a more concrete terms, and then people will be more satisfied. We are always ready to discuss many things with our Turkish friends on all different issues, even including even this year, and uh, we can invest together into some projects, into new renewable capacities, and I am always open for this kind of discussions with our friends from Turkey, with the President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, of course, always ready to do so.